Hi guys, welcome to the channel. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how I make these beautiful four masterpieces, floral candles. So you wanna see how I make the formulation? Keep on watching. Yes. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Guys, today's gonna be a very fun video because I'm gonna make the perfect flowers and the candle for spring, okay? So we're gonna make it together. So we're gonna go into the color bar, actually into the candle bar, and I'm gonna search all my fragrance oils and let's see how many florals that I have. And we're gonna make a beautiful candle, okay? So stay tuned, yes! So I got this from a website. I don't remember now which one. I, I just did a, a Google search asking for uh, the best uh, spring candles. And okay, the first one that came up uh, on the search was uh, Fresh Cut Roses. Second one came Japanese Plum Bloom. Third one, uh, Brazilian Orchid, Wildflower, Orchid and Vanilla. Lilac, Vanilla and Orange Blossom. I just wanna have an idea of what's popular out there. Wild Honeysuckle, Water Lily, Pressed Wildflowers, Irises, African Violets, Pomegranate uh, Peony, Rain uh, rainforest flower, I don't know what that is. Night blooming tuberose, a uh, white peony and freesia and gardenia. Okay, so what I wanna do with so what I wanna do with you guys is I wanna take a look at all my oils and I'm gonna put all the florals in the category and then I'm just gonna put them right here so we can select uh, which combination works the best. Okay, so uh, let me just go through the oils and put them in here and I'll be right back. Ta ta. So these are all my florals, oils that I have. As you can see, uh, it's gonna be quite a task. And let me see if I have any more of these uh, uh, testers. I think I ran out. Uh, we, by the way, I got these fragrance blotter strips from Candle Signs. I don't like them because they're very skinny and they're very hard to, to hold. You know, I like the ones that you have the end that is thicker. It's thicker and then, you know, it's, it doesn't grab that much oil. Anyway, and it's easier to, to handle. So these I ordered that coming next week. In the meantime, let me just take a, a bunch of these. Let me just take a, doing a lot of testing guys. And you know, and you know me, I love this is the best part. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna see if I can make a, a like a rose, a rose candle. But I don't want a rose to be like too overpowering. So I wanna see in here, I'm following my, this, this guy that I have in here. And again, guys, you can find, uh, if you go to Pinterest, go, um, fragrance oil blend charts and you can find uh, different kinds of charts that, that tells you uh, the best combination of different oils this one is a very basic one i would not recommend this one uh, this is the only one that i have i've been lazy i'm not printing other ones uh, so i'm just going to fo follow this one so far so for, for the floral which is the first one it says notes of rose jasmine uh, delicate and sweet uh, layer without vanilla musk and leather Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this layer oil that I recommend and I'm just gonna put it on the side. Okay, so I'm gonna look for the out, vanilla, musk, and leather, and I'm gonna put it on this side and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I put a selection of uh, different kinds of scents I think may work with this. Uh, I'm looking for a vanilla that I can find. Uh, I'm gonna keep looking for a vanilla, okay? Let me just, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have, an, I have an amazing selection in here, guys. Um, let me see if I can get a basket. Okay, let me just tell you, let me just tell you, uh, I have Egypt, Egyptian Amber, Black Amber and Plum, Vanilla and Bread, Chocolate Amber, Amber Noir, Suede and Smoke, uh, Frankincense and Mirror, uh, Suede and Tabac, Suede and Smoke, Tonka and Out, Genuine Leather, and Cuban Cigar. Okay, these are the ones that I'm gonna use to mix with the florals, okay? I think it's, it's a matter of uh, of taste. So let's start, okay? So, oh my God, everything's starting to smell glorious. Okay, so I found someone, uh, Someone in the group recommended me using uh, the blues, uh, Blue Jasmine and Royal Fern. This is from the Wooden Week Company. So this is gonna be the first one that I'm gonna be making uh, a test strip. I have never used any oil from the Wooden Wood Company. I find them all uh, very weak. 
uh, for my candles. And I really want a candle that you can really uh, smell, you know? I want a candle that it blows. Like it, it fills uh, the room, okay? So let's see this one, Blue Jasmine and Royal Fern. This is very nice, very uh, uh, sophisticated smell, guys. It's, it's very, uh, let's see if I have the notes in here, no. Okay, and, and again, it's it's very nice, but it's not giving me the uh, the wow factor. So I'm gonna put it on the side, okay? okay let me try this one from the same company, uh, uh, Orange Blossom and Fig. Let me smell it first. Okay, that may work. This is very delicate too. I think it's very sophisticated. Very refined. Okay, let me let it dry here. Flower oils uh, from the Wooden Wick Company, so we can just put them aside because I need space. Okay, so from here I have Pink Peony and Nectarine. So again, let me just make a fragrance strip out of that. I mean, I have all these oils, might as well just use them and just give them uh, their chance. Okay. You know, it's like uh, the same with the seasons. Test taste always change, you know, what I may not like today, I may like tomorrow. Okay, so then I'm gonna make another uh, passion fruit and plumeria. As you all know, I love uh, plumeria. Oh my God, this is really nice. Again, very weak, the smell. It's, it's the only thing that I don't like, you know, I like to, when I make a candle and when I light it up, I just wanna fill the room. I'm just put it in here, again, I'm not smelling them, I'm just letting it dry. Okay, uh, green bamboo and wild violet. I definitely wanna do a violet. Uh, oh, this one is sealed, so. Okay, this one is nice, but it has to be very careful because it's, I don't, I'm not I'm not too kind of a, like the green scent, like grass, stuff like that. This one has, it's very green. And from bamboo also, bamboo also is a grass. And wild violet. Okay, so let's try this one, put it aside. Now I have two more to try. I have the uh, cashmere vanilla, and this one's gonna be good to mix uh, the flowerings, the flowers. And I have one in here, the gardenia and grapefruit, that I wanna try too. Uh, even though I already have a gardenia uh, candle already made for my line, I, I just wanna try it to see how it, it blends. Put it in here. So once I take uh, mix samples of all these, uh, okay, marigold and cedar musk. Let me see how this one smells before I make a, a scent strip. You know what? I don't like this one at all. Okay, let's see the gardenia and grapefruit. This is very nice. But again, it's very mild. So, nor the heat throw that I'm expecting. And if I don't get that, then I'm not gonna use the oils. Okay, okay, so I'm, I'm done with all this. So let me just put them aside. At the same time, before I do that, I'm gonna make a test with all the, the layering oils that I'm gonna be using with the florals. So let me just take another test strip in here. I'm gonna put in here. Genuine leather. I find this to be extremely, extremely uh, strong. I mean, it's divine. So I'm, I'm gonna make a test strip out of this, but I'm not gonna be using a lot of it. I'm, I mean, you have to be very careful with that one because it's really, it can throw uh, the candle uh, to a level that you, you don't want. But again, but it gives the, uh, the background a note. Okay, so this is gonna be the first one here. First, the next one is gonna be Cuban cigar. I love the mixing of uh, tobacco and, and flour. Oh my God, this is divine. I think it, make it, more, it makes it more interesting, you know, it cuts on the, uh, on the potency of the, of the floral notes. I think this would be a good combination. Okay, and again, you know, it's all on the testing and also it's all on, on the ratio that you, that you use, on the amount of oil that you use. And that to me is where the secret is. Okay, so let's keep going. The next one, uh, Tonka and Out. This is also very strong but it's very deep and very... Again, guys, this is all. People are different, you know? People, some, they may not like this. So I'm planning to be very uh, careful when I mix it with this. With this uh, 
Okay, Suede and Smoke is another one that is very dark, very uh, deep, very intense, mysterious. I love it. Uh, it's very sophisticated. You know, it's okay. I find this is better, guys, to do it like this. Uh, Amber Noir. Also, this is a good one. I'm running out of space. Okay. So now you see, guys, how much you need to test before you come up with a, with a candle. Okay, the next one is Vanilla and Bread. And I decided not to get any more oils, guys, because I have so many. And I, I keep getting confused, you know, because there's so many millions of combinations that you can do with this, you know, and the more you have, the more confused you get, because as you get different oils, maybe you like that one better, but then you get confused, maybe not, maybe I wanna go back. Black Amber and Plum. This is really nice also. Okay, what else I have in here? I have this one, Frankincense and Mare. It's so, uh, it smells like in, uh, incense. I think it will be good mixed with the florals. Perfect. Okay, let's see what else I have, chocolate. Oh, chocolate and bread, yes. I wanna put some chocolate, some sweetness to the floral also and see how that goes because you know you know it's just need to experiment guys chocolate and bread amber you know, and i'm always adjusting this you know it's all on the ratio you know if you want the smell of chocolate to come up more you want more if you want less then you want less okay and one of my favorite ambers is uh egyptian amber guys this is really 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 sophisticated uh it's not strong at all it's very it, it melts every uh Egyptian. Okay, so this is all I have in here. And like I told you before, I'm gonna start working with the uh, wooden wick oils, which like I told you, I've never used them on my candles before. Uh, so let's try. Okay, so I have in here the mixes, and I have in here the vanillas and the... Okay, so let me just space them out. I don't want them to touch like they are right now. Uh, Blue Jasmine and Royal Fern is the first one. I like it because it's not uh, as floral. It's not like, oh my God, it's so floral on my face. Let me try with the Egyptian Amber together. This is glorious, guys. Oh my God. Oh my God, this combination is unbelievable, guys. Oh my God. Let me try with the uh, chocolate Amber. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. I mean, it works the same thing. Beautiful, it's the Amber itself. But I think the other one's better. It needs something it's so beautiful uh, itself. Let me see uh, orange blossom and fig. Let me see cashmere vanilla. No. Let me see uh, amber noir. Oh my god. This is even better, guys. Let me go ask my husband. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I think I'm gonna make a decision, guys. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this to the side. I'm gonna make a note. So I'm gonna put a note in here. Okay. Uh, Blue Jasmine and Royal Fern and Egyptian Amber. Okay, so I'm just gonna make I'm just gonna make the note of the combinations. I'm not gonna make them now. Okay, so number two is gonna be. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna put this blue jasmine away. Okay, so let's see what else. Uh, green bamboo and wild violet. Okay, so I need something strong to 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 take over the the, the greenery of this. Uh, let me see Amber Noir. This, let me see if it complements this. I'm, I don't like the, uh, the the green smell. If I don't like it, I'm not gonna make it. So I'm gonna toss this away. Okay, next one. Cashmere Vanilla. It's way too weak for me. I can't have that. Orange Blossom um, with Fig. Okay, this one is really nice. I'm gonna mix it with Pink Peony and Nectarine. This is very nice. The two of them together, oof. This pink peony and nectarine uh, with the orange blossom and fig. Uh, the fig uh, complements uh, the orange blossom. So let me see if I can put something. Uh, oh wow. Let me see the chocolate amber with this. No. Black amber and plum. Oh wow. 
the plum, and the nectarine, and the fig together, guys. It makes it a floral. Okay, I'm gonna go ask my husband, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we have a winner. My husband really likes it, so I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna put it right here. Um, my list of options. This is really, 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 really nice. You know what I like it because it's, it's you can tell it's a floral, but being that you're mixing the orange, uh, the fig, the nectar, nectarine, and the plum, and the black amber, it's it's balancing the flor uh, the floral smell. It's not it doesn't make it like like too much, you know, like too floral, like it, it could be. Okay, so let me just do number two: orange blossom and fig, black amber and plum, plus. Pink peony and nectarine. The secret for this is the fruit. Uh, the fruit notes, the fruity notes, that uh, it doesn't make them like too. Okay, so I'm gonna take this. As I make the, the combinations, blue jasmine and, so the blue jasmine has Egyptian amber, so I'm gonna take it from here and I'm gonna make it, it its own. So I'm gonna put this on a separate like glass. So it doesn't gonna be its own candle by itself so they don't get contaminated. I mean, they're gonna be melting together, but it's, I know that this is gonna be the combination that I wanna make. Okay, so I have passion fruit and plumeria. Okay, and gardenia and grapefruit. Okay, I'm gonna pass on these two, and I'm gonna work now on the, uh, using a candle science and Lone Star um, oils. So let's start making samples, okay? Okay, cherry blossom. Japanese cherry blossom is a, a very popular one. Uh, so I'm gonna make a, a test tip on that. It's not my favorite, but I know it's very popular, so I don't have to, uh, for romance. Okay, uh, this gardenia lily, I'm gonna put away because I already made a, a candle out of this. Okay, I'm gonna put my Japanese cherry blossom. Okay, cactus flowers and jade. Let's try that one. Again, it's something uh, different. That's what you wanna offer and on your candle line. You wanna find, you wanna offer something that not everyone has and something that maybe that no one has ever like tried. Okay, this one is very different. Oof. This one is very strong. I'm not sure about that one, but we'll see. Uh, it's not that flowering to me, but we'll see. Okay, black currant and jasmine. This is one of my favorite ones, guys. I highly recommend this uh, scent. Beautiful. I love jasmine. I love jasmine better than roses. To be honest, uh, to be honest, I'm running out of this because I used so many. Oh my goodness, this is my favorite. So good. Okay, now a very popular one, Kala Lily. This is very flowery, so people may like it. This is a new scent from Candle Science and it's very popular now. It's one of the best sellers, so we'll see. It's beautiful. I made a, I mixed that with the gardenia and it didn't go well. So, okay, plumeria. I'm gonna pass on the plumeria. Uh, maybe next year I'll make, make one. Okay, ocean rose, summery, very refreshing. It smells, of course, of the ocean, so why not? It's not the, the typical rose, it's more beachy type. Okay, and it's, it has a little bit of a green smell. The earthiness from the grass. So we'll see how that one goes. Okay, I have to. Okay, I have golden rose. And again, the way you perfect this guy is how uh, the ratio. How much oil you add from each. Okay, I'm not smelling anything, but we'll see. It's not giving me a wow factor. So let me just put it away for now. If it doesn't give me a wow factor, it's not gonna be in a candle. No, no, no. Okay, this one is a magnolia and peony. I have a, a magnolia tree. We have a magnolia tree in the back in the back garden. Beautiful. Okay, this one is nice. I'm gonna have to change my my glasses because these glasses uh, they're good for reading, but I need to I need to see the the, the surroundings too. Okay, so magnolia and peony. There, a uh, Tahitian petals from Sweet Cakes. Beautiful, it deserves its moment. So let me just make a fragrance strip. It has the, uh, the plumeria on it, so that's why I like it. Beautiful. Honey, Sokol and Jasmine. 
Again, this one is a very nice one. I'm gonna make a test strip of this. And I think I'm gonna leave it at that because I wanna make three candles today. I don't have time to make uh, more than that. So honeysuckle and jasmine. Okay, so this one is gonna be my last one. It will help if I put the oil on the strip. I'm trying not to have them not to touch. Oh, you know what? I have something called rose petals. Let me just, let me just make one of these. Rose petals for uh, all those people that are rose lovers. Beautiful, 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 beautiful rose. Yes, it's not intense. It's very uh, smooth and clean. The first one is gonna be Japanese cherry blossom. Let's see what I'm, I'm gonna mix it with. Sweat and smoke. Wow, this really makes a, a beautiful candle. Uh, wow. Very, very, very nice, guys. I think it's too strong. Uh, Sweat and smoke is too strong for this. It's taking over uh, the Japanese. Let me see the amber noir. Beautiful. This is very nice. Okay, so. I'm not too crazy about the Japanese cherry blossom, but I'm gonna pass on that one and I'm just gonna leave this in here. Okay, cactus flower and jay. Again, this has the uh, the green background. I don't like it, I'm not gonna make it. Ocean rose. Beautiful. Okay, ocean rose by itself. I think it's ocean rose with frankincense and mirror. It's very interesting. I'm gonna ask Try to mix it with Tahitian petals, ocean rose, and Tahitian petals. Wow, this is really a, a nice flower. Let me put some vanilla, vanilla and bread. Wow, guys, these two, vanilla and bread. I think I hit at the jackpot. Let me just show my husband. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we have four candles. Um, let me show them to you. I need to make another uh, another sample strip for uh, one of the candles. It goes with everything, you know, and it makes it everything like enhances the um, the fragrance up to another level. It's beautiful. Okay, here it is, vanilla and bread. Oh my uh, god! Fragrance oil. So the candle number one is going to be blue jasmine and royal fern. Two is going to be orange blossom and fig. Pink peony and nectarine and black amber and plum. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, let's see if I'm successful with this, getting some fragrance out of this. Uh, because guys, I'm not able to get uh, from the wooden wick company. I'm not able to get any 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 good uh, HTOCT. Okay, this is number two. Okay, number three is gonna be ocean rose and Tahitian petals. Ocean rose. Tahitian petals and vanilla and bread. Okay, and the last one, I'm gonna need the vanilla and bread. It's going to be magnolia and peony, peony, rose petals and vanilla and bread. Okay, here we go. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna set up the outside and uh, the melting pot and we're back. Okay, guys, so let me show you a view. This is the, uh, the vessels already prepared for the four candles. And these are the four different oil combinations. I have number one, two, three, and four. I have in here the different um, scent strips that I use for uh, all four candles. And here are the oils that I use. And so I'm gonna take you guys to the uh, to the melting pot and we can start cooking, okay? Yes! Okay guys, we're back. So let me just get the oils and the, and the candles and the tins. These are the oils and these are the tins. Ta -da -da. I like to use to buy these four different ones because if I make multiple candles, you know, it's good to have just a variety of them. You get them all spread. Ta -da. I mean, they don't have to be burning hot. Okay, 196. So I'm just gonna start. I need four ounces. Four point. Okay, number one. Okay, and I make sure I'm gonna put it on, on, on the tin that says number one this time because you know what happened to me the last time. And remember, guys. Always, always uh, mix really well, at least for 30 seconds, 30 to 45 seconds. I remember uh, me, uh, we're using different company oils. So for, for, that, for more reason that you have to really like, uh, you have to even dissolve it even better. Okay, temperature, 157, perfect. Time to pour. Number one, goes to number one. 
Okay, perfect. Okay, and these candles are done. Okay, guys, let me just clean up. I'll be right back, okay? Yes! Okay, guys, welcome back. This is on the day after. Uh, I already tested them for the HD and I placed the candles in the order that I like uh, how they uh, perform best. The first candle that I am very impressed is with this one, a Blue Jaffin and Royal Fern from the Wooden Wood Company. And I mixed it with the uh, Egyptian Amber. I just wanna thank my friend Myrna. Uh, she recommended me uh, to try the Blue Jaffin and Royal Fern from the Wooden Wood Company. I'm very happy. Thank you, Myrna. Okay, uh, candle number two is Ocean Rose and Tahitian Petals. And I added uh, vanilla and bread. And this one is giving me wonderful tropical vibes. It feels like I'm on vacation. Okay, and the next one is Magnolia and Peony and Rose Petals, and also with vanilla and bread. This one is giving me very nice uh, HD. And the last one, uh, Orange Blossom and Fig, Black, Amber, and Plum, and Pink Peony and Nectarine. Uh, this one is kind of disappointing. Uh, it's not giving me uh, the HD that I'm aiming for. But I mean, it's nice, but it's not like I was, I wanted to like uh, the wild wow factor is not there. Okay guys, so I hope you got uh, a lot of information out of this video and I hope it's not uh, too long. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please. And like the video, that's uh, how I grow my channel. And uh, share my content with people that you think that may enjoy my content. And if you would like, uh -huh. Also follow me in my, in, my, in my other channel, Healthy Day with me, Michael. Uh, the link is down on the description box. Okay, guys, so I hope you have a wonderful week. Uh, until the next video, ta-ta!